Hi students, today we are going to see decimation in frequency for Fourier transform. How to solve the problems using this uh, algorithm. So in decimation in frequency uh, for Fourier transform, the frequency domain of your input sequence is decimated and smaller points DFTs are performed here. Right, the basic structure of uh, DIF uh, FFT algorithm is given as a and B, and here the total factor will be placed after the structure here. So the output capital A and capital B is uh, found by A equal to A plus B. So A and plus B, and B is nothing but A minus B into total factor. So the one result will be addition of the two inputs. The second one will be the subtraction of uh, uh, the two inputs along with your total factor. So this is the basic structure of uh, DIF FFT algorithm. So we already saw your uh, decimation in time algorithm. So the major difference between decimation in time algorithm and the decimation in frequency algorithm is in decimation in time algorithm, the time domain sequence is, uh, of your input signal is decimated. In decimation in frequency, the frequency domain of the input sequence is decimated. The second major difference is the input should be in bit reverse order and the output will be in normal order in DIT algorithm. Of algorithm, your input will be in normal order and output will be in bit. The third major difference is the phase factors are multiplied before the add and subtract operation. But in DIF, the total factor is placed after the add and subtraction. This is the major uh, difference between your de uh, decimation in time and decimation in frequency algorithm. Now we can see the basic uh, butterfly structure of decimation in frequency FFT algorithm. So the first stage here, uh, the number of stages is going to be as similar as your uh, DIT algorithm, three stages here, as your eight point can be written in terms of two power three, so radix to three stages here. But here, the first stage will be of eight point, second stage will be four point, and third stage will be two point. So the total factors will not uh, be, uh, there will not be any change in the total factors, only the place, uh, which we place your uh, which we place your uh, total factor is going to be different. So in DIF, the total factor is placed after the structure here, right? So the input uh, here in DIF will be in normal order. The output will be in the bit reverse order as zero four two six one five three seven. So this is the basic uh, butterfly uh, structure of eight point um, DIF FFT algorithm. So let's solve a problem here. Let us see how to solve the problem um, in an uh, DIF FFT algorithm. So compute an eight point uh, DFT of X of N uh, is equal to one comma, sorry, two comma, two comma, two comma, two, one comma, one comma, one comma, one, using radix to DIF FFT algorithm. First, the structure has to be drawn. So this basic structure, so it's 8.4.2 point, right? So here the input should be placed in normal order where you will obtain your output in the bit reverse order. So input is placed as in the normal order 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, right? So here this x of 0, x of 4 will form a combi pair, 1 and 5 will form a pair, 2 and 6 will form a pair, and 3 and 7 will form a pair. So the first pair 2 and 1 is your input. So your output will be 2a plus b and a minus b into total factor. So a plus b is 2 plus 1, a minus b into total factor. Here the total factor is 1. The next pair is 2 and 1. So 2 plus 1, 2 minus 1 into the total factor. Here the total factor is 0 0.707 minus j.707. Next is 2 plus 1 and 2 minus 1 in minus j. The total factor is minus j. Then 2 plus 1, 2 minus 1 into the Total factor minus 0 0.70 minus j.707. Right, so now we can calculate your value 2 plus 1 is 3, 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 2 minus 1 into 1 is 1. Point seven zero seven minus j point seven zero seven. 2 minus 1 into minus j is minus j, 2 minus 1 into Minus 0 0.707 minus j.707 is minus 0 0.707 minus j0.707. So this is the output of your stage one. This will be the input for your stage two. Now we'll compute your second stage here. 
this first and third will form a pair second and fourth will form a pair for this one so first pair is 3 and 3 so 3 plus 3 3 minus 3 into that will factor 1 next is 3 plus 3 and 3 minus 3 into that will factor minus j so next here in this one 1 and minus j form a pair so 1 minus j 1 plus j into 1 here these two will form a pair so a plus b a minus b into the total factor minus j now so 3 plus 3 is 6 3 plus 3 is 6 3 minus 3 is 0 3 minus 3 is 0 1 minus j is 1 minus j here this uh, this uh, um, real value will get cancels with each other so the sum of the imaginary value is minus j 1.70 1.414 then 1 plus j here what happens the real part uh, will be getting added as 1.414 into minus j will becomes minus j 1.414 so this is the output of your second stage and this will act as an input for the third stage here it's going to be the total factor is one so the calculation will be very simple so the value inputs is six and six so six plus six six minus six so both the value was zero so zero plus zero zero minus zero here it is one minus j here it is minus uh, 1.414 j so 1 minus j minus 1 j 1.414 it is plus here it is 1 plus j and here the value is minus j 1.414 so 1 plus j minus j 1.414 here 1 plus j plus j 1.414 so your output is 6 plus 6 is 12 6 minus 6 is 0 0 0 and uh, here it is going to be 1 minus j 2.414, 1 plus j 0 0.414, 1 minus j 0 0.414, and 1 plus j 2.414. Here after getting this output, the output is in bit reverse order. So you have to write your output in the normal order. So rearrange the bit reverse, bit reverse order output into a normal order. So I have to finish this problem by stating the x of k in a normal order. So for further clarification, you can ping me at benilaw.blogspot.com. Thank you students, we'll meet in the next presentation.